People say that no good deed goes unpunished, and it might seem like that is the case here. Today I come to you with a video that I really, really wish I didn't have to make. Let's start from the beginning. Okay, about a week and a half ago, someone contacted me and said, hey, I have a pallet full of brand new batteries. Can you buy them from us? Can you find someone to buy them from us, right? And so I reached out to you guys. Amazingly, you guys came back and said, yes, I'll take, you know, X amount. I'll take 2,000, I'll take, you know, 500 cells. I take, and you guys wanted like 60,000 cells. Which I was like, great, there's, there's obviously an interest there. That means I'll be able to buy 20,000 cell pallet that these guys have available, right? So then what I did, I went and screened the names, all the people that met the criteria that were within the United States that were ordering in multiples of 100. I collected those names and then I emailed you guys directly and said, here is how you buy these cells. Here's a buy now button and it was a PayPal button. And it included the price per cell that included shipping and included all the fees that, that PayPal was gonna charge us, right? And you guys delivered. You guys bought all 20,000 cells within, I wanna say 12 hours. And then at this point, PayPal is like, whoa, there's something fishy going on here. There's way too much money coming in all at once from all kinds of places. There must be something shady. Let's shut this account down. And so they froze my account. They were like, there's too many transactions happening. As a result of that, I went to my bank and I pulled out my personal money so that I can go and buy the cells. Then there was a few days in between trying to arrange delivery of the cells and but eventually they were delivered and I got them at the Chatsworth facility where I'm currently working at, right? And right away, I also had to use my money to buy some um, shipping materials like boxes and stuff. It was like $500 worth of stuff. And then I purchased all the postage, right? All the labels that required for me to repackage your cells, your batteries, and me and my brother started putting them together. Here's a time lapse. Uh, it took us, you know, I don't know, like four or five hours to repackage 20,000 cells with the labels and everything. And that pallet is sitting there. At this point, I thought, well, it's gonna take a few days for, for you know, the, the PayPal frozen account thing to, to be settled. But we'll settle it. We'll, you know, they'll clear it out and I'll be able to get the money and do all this stuff, right? Well, uh, two days ago, they just told me that, no, they've decided that my account is fine. It's no longer um, frozen. They're just decided to take my entire balance, uh, close to $20,000, by the way, uh, and keep that as a reserve. They, they said that it's a reserve just in case there's any problems with these cells. If any of you guys don't like your cells and you guys try to put like a chargeback or you guys uh, put a claim of like non-receipt or, you know, any problems that come up, they're saying like, well, we'll have the, this money here to be able to give them. And so that way PayPal won't lose any money. And so now basically what is happening is that you guys paid for these 20,000 cells, except that you didn't pay me, you paid PayPal, and PayPal has refusing to give me the money. And they've said anywhere between 30 days and 180 days. Um, that's, that's one month to six months. And I, now that I'm doing some digging, it turns out they do this all the time, and it's never one month, it's always six months. So basically, PayPal is saying, we're going to hold on to your money uh, for six months. Go ahead and ship all the product that you just sold. We'll hold the money for safekeeping, right? Which I am not okay with that. I work really hard for the last two months to make that money. And I need that money to pay my bills. And now PayPal saying like, no, we're going to keep it for six months. And so that's where I'm at right now. Um, I don't have any of the money you guys gave me. PayPal has it, and I thought, well, screw them, right? If they're not gonna give us the money, I'll just refund you guys all of your money, and then we'll find an alternative way for you guys to get 
my money. But get this, get this. I can refund. If I want to refund right now a thousand dollars back to you, I have to somehow come up with that money, because PayPal thinks they own your money, the one, the one that you guys paid for all these, the one that they won't let me touch it. I can't even refund you that money. So even though there's like close to twenty thousand dollars in the account, I would have to if I want to refund a thousand dollars i have to come give them a thousand dollars so then they can pass that to you that's where it's at and so then i'm like well we gotta sort this out i one i can't wait six months to get that money um two i don't want to uh and three well there's gotta be a way to, to figure this out because i'm a long time paypal account holder i've moved more than 10 million dollars through my paypal account I have made them more than a million dollars worth of fees. For them to screw us, not just me, but you guys also, over eight, like $18,000 doesn't make sense. This must be like some automated thing. If I just can speak to a person, I'm pretty sure we can sort this out. The problem is, of course, that I just got off the phone with them and they're like, okay, we'll get back to you between 48 and 72 hours. That's like, that could be like three more days that the pallet sits there. And I mean, I, I, I can't ship it. Will you ship a pallet like $20,000 worth of product when you don't know if you're gonna get the money or not? I'm sorry, I, I, I think most of you guys wouldn't. I, I, I think it, none of you guys would ask me to trust PayPal at this point because I mean, what kind of company does that? What kind of company gets in between the money Right? And then s totally screws up this workflow. You know what I mean? Like, they don't care about my operations. They're like, look, all this money, we'll hold it because we, we are afraid that maybe something's going to happen. Um, we don't really care if you have money or not, if you have bills. We don't care. You figure it out. Just ship the product. Ship the product so we can make our, you know, uh, fees off of this. Right? So... I don't know if I have solutions. Like I said, I don't have access to the money. I can't do anything with my, I can't even refund you the money so that we can find alternative ways of, of payment so that you can get that money to me, right? I, I guess I gotta wait 72 hours for them. But here's two things that we can do. We can all unite and then tell PayPal, well, screw you, uh, we want our money back and then completely uh, reverse every single transaction uh, for these batteries and then uh, so that they don't make any fees of us and then we can find an alternative way for you guys to send me the money um, but that might actually have to come from you guys because like I said I don't have authority to to your money uh, PayPal has taken control over that money and uh, they're keeping it for themselves for the next six months I don't know they're probably gonna put it in some account and generate interest for the next six months or they're gonna probably put it in the stock market and generate some earnings like that with your money well your money that well as, as soon as I ship the sales to you then it becomes my money right so it's either way it's not their money um, so I don't, I don't know it, it might require for you guys to put claims you know like put like claims so that you guys get the money I mean that's what they're keeping the money anyways for supposedly that's what they're claiming that it's for any problems, any claims, when the when people ask for their money back, it's there sitting so that they can give it back to them. They don't have to ask me because then, you know, then I don't, I might not have it or whatever. Um, yeah, PayPal is going to claim that they're working for you in this case. But essentially, how are they working for you if they're preventing me from being able to have access to, to the money that you sent me? I, I'm not going to want to ship the product. I can't. I can't ship the product out to you. So there's a, there's a pallet sitting with all of your boxes labeled, ready to go. But I, without access to the money, it's it's hard, right? And so, and so also I need some advice, like what other forms of payments do you guys do? I have used PayPal so long that I never actually got an, another payment processing service. And so I know there's Stripe people have mentioned. I know uh, some of you, uh, there was one of you guys that sent me direct to my bank account. If you have B of A, I think you just sent money to like my email and then you type in the amount of money, boom, it appears in my account. 
it's pretty secure like that. I don't know if it works like that for every other account. Either way, guys, I am reaching out to you, want to explain why I haven't shipped your batteries. PayPal has turned into a nightmare. And I know it's it's not your guys' fault. You guys paid up. It's just you guys paid the wrong person. And that's my fault. I I shouldn't have used PayPal. But I didn't know they were going to do this. I, I didn't know they were going to step in and completely put a wrench in this whole thing. Um, but all I know is that I, I can't ship product. I can't ship $20,000 worth of cells and then not wait six months to get paid for them. Because that's... I don't have that kind of money. If, you know, look, if I was better in a better financial situation, I would do it. But I, I am not. It's all the money I have. <laughs> it's tied up on PayPal right now. So I guess I guess what I'm asking is, what do you guys, what do you guys think? Should we say screw you, PayPal, and then try to get all our transactions to be canceled so that we can find a different payment, or should we work with them? I don't know how long. I mean, they could still come back and say like, "Nope. No, nope, we're going to keep that money. No, nope, we're not going to we're not going to be able to come to like some arrangement with you. You just got to ship this product if you want to get this money in 6 months." Right? I mean, so wow, yeah, put it in the comments. What what would you guys do? What what I mean, it's 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 your money at this point. I have no access to it. What should we do with your money so that you can get it to me? And I can send you all these batteries. And I'm really sorry that I have to inconvenience you because it should just be super easy. It should be like, here's the money, which most of you guys already did. And I should be able to like, oh, I, I have possession of the money. I'm sending your, your cells. Um, sorry. I apologize. Uh, but give me your thoughts down in the comments to see what we do. Um about this nightmare situation that PayPal has uh, done with our with our group buy of these 18650 cells. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you guys. I was just trying to find a new home for these batteries, right? Uh, and it's turned into this nightmare. I, you know, I spent a, a, a whole lot of time now dealing with this. You know, doing the math, doing the thing, changing the addresses. Changing from one cell, there's a bunch of you guys that want to change your, your order to the eBay one, and I'm willing to do all that work if I can only just get my money back. But at this point, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Put it down, because if, if we're all together and we say, screw PayPal, let's do it. Let's, let's pick up the phones and talk to them, tell them, cancel my order, send me my money back. I don't want this stuff. And... By law, I think they have to give you your money back, right? And so, once you have your money back, then you can send it to me some other way. You can send me a check. You can, I don't care how you get the money to me. You know what I mean? Like, just as long as it gets to me. As long as it's not PayPal saying, like, we'll give it to you in six months. So, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, we can fix this pretty soon because it's not fair for you, your batteries to be sitting there doing nothing. Um... I hope we can fix this. Okay, bye.